Hello, this is Sunday Gardener, your online travel boss. And today we are going to talk all about your correct business foundation and the attraction system that you need to build so that you start off right. So super excited that you guys are with me live for those who have joined me live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But you know what? What I wanted to do is I sort of started with a sensational title today and it was, you know, your business is doomed to fail, right? And like, who am I to tell you that, right? I know you're looking at the title like, she didn't know. She didn't know if my business is doomed to fail. But the reality is, you know, it's some ridiculously large percentage of businesses that start off are going to fail, right? And 90 Nine percent of the failure is not because of a bad business idea. I mean, I think there's some percentage because people have a bad business idea, but you're in the travel industry and even in a pandemic, I would say this is not a bad business idea, right? The reason you will fail is because no one will know that you exist right? No one is going to know that your business is available. You're marketing um, to the wrong people if you're not even marketing at all, right? So what we want to do is talk about the elephant in the room. I literally have talked to at least 200 people plus just based on the posts that I did and the amount of volume of response that we got on um, webinar, you know, I've reached out personally to pretty much every single body that responded to that post. And if you don't know what post I'm talking about, search in the news feed and look for the post that says, do you want the replay of our how to grow your business, right? There's almost 500 comments in that post. And that means that I personally talked to, you know, everyone who responded, like, and have given them information about the webinar and I've talked to them about their business, right? So I feel like, I feel like I'm on fire because I've got all this information directly from y'all's mouth in terms of what your struggles are. And I would say 90, greater than 90% of the people struggling with the same thing. And it's, they don't know how to get clients or they don't know how to market their business, right? So you all who are on the line, I probably have sent you a message. And if you haven't talked to me, that's because you haven't checked your messages and you need to see because I probably have said, hi, what's going on in your business? And I gave you the video to how to grow your business. Business, right so this is a hot topic because you guys you guys are not you, you're not known right you're 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 using social media many of you guys are out there you're posting you're sad because it's a it's a pandemic and people aren't interested in travel at least the people that you're talking to and unfortunately if you keep on the path that you are that is going to seal your doom right so let's stop it let's stop doomsday in its tracks and let's get on the path to success and successfully getting known by the people that you want to be known by who is up for that tonight who is up for positioning their travel business so that they are in front of the people that they want to be in front of, right? Now, if you're new to me, and many of you are, you don't know the saying. But if you aren't new to me, this is going to be familiar to you. And what I'm going to say is family and friends are not your ideal client. Let me say it again. Somebody write that in the comments. Family and friends are not your ideal clients. Right. And so when you are advertising or marketing your packages, your promotions, your fill in the blank on social media, you don't have a way to attract your ideal client. You are marketing to the wrong audience and the people that you are marketing to are not your ideal client, nor do they really want your services. What they want is the hookup. So I don't need to convince you that family and friends are not the, the, aren't the cat's meow. You already know that, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I do love my friends and family. And if you know me, you know that I believe that they, last week, I think I said that they are the sprinkles to my cake. Before I used to say they, they were the icing to my cake, but literally friends and family are the sprinkles, right? You cannot eat off of sprinkles. You cannot get full off of sprinkles. You cannot, you not, cannot sustain your diet off of sprinkles, can you? Right? That's what your friend and friends and family are. So if you don't have a way 
you don't have a found your foundational item, which I'm going to tell you what the three foundation items are. And we're going to focus on number one in today's message, right? Is if you don't have this foundational item in place, your business is doomed to fail, period. End of story. I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to discuss it. I don't want to, you know, debate, you know, nine times over and around the corner and all of that on how I'm wrong because I'm right. <laughs> There's just no other thing. I'm right. If you don't have a way to attract strangers consistently in your business, your business is doomed for failure, right? Long term, it will not be able to sustain you and your desires for replacement of full-time income. It will continue to be a side hustle. It will not be your main bread and butter if your friends and family are the only clients that you have in your business today and you don't have a way to get strangers. So let's talk about what the foundations of a solid travel business is, are, is, are, whatever. Somebody uh, slid in my inbox today and corrected my, my English, uh, I think I used the word your incorrectly. Um, I should have used the uh, apostrophe R-E, right? Listen, it's probably going to happen again, right? I'm going to cuss. I'm going to probably have some misspelling in my copy. And I am going to be going a million miles away. And I'm going to stutter uh, pay to pay play platform. Those are the three things that I know for sure are going to happen. All right. So if you can accept me for my faults, let's move on. All right. Foundation. These are three foundation items. I'm not going to go into details on all three of them. We're going to really hone into one of them today. So the three foundational items that you need in your business is a sound operational system, right? You need to operate legally and you need to cover yourself from a risk perspective. I've talked about that in before, but upper um, leg number one for a solid foundation is having a sound operational business process associated with your business, right? You've legally formed, you've got terms and conditions, you've got insurance, you've covered all your hedges, right? Number two foundational item is having a client attraction system. This is what we're going to focus on today. And number three foundational item is having a solid client fulfillment system, right? So those are the three prongs for a solid business that's going to guarantee you success and profitability if you have those three things honed in, right? But tonight, what we're going to focus on is your client attraction system, right? CAS is what I call it, right? Client attraction system. Somebody write in the comments, client attraction system. And the system that we use here in Online Travel Boss is in, in the academy inside of my program is the ARC system. And that ARC stands for attraction, relationships, and conversions, right? So your ability to have a good client attraction system is your ability to attract the right type of client with the right type of offer, build relationships with your clients, and then convert, right? Sell. That's how it is, right? So what we're going to talk about today is the A in attraction, right? So the A in attraction, so I got, I got my notes here. Like I always come to this, this session with notes, uh, things that I want to make sure that I cover because I start going and I, you know, I forget to say some things and I want to make sure that I cover all the things. So today we're going to be talking about attraction, right? Many of you are attracting your friends and family, right? You get excited, you sign up with a host agency and you start, you know, uh, taking all this agency supplier training and you start focusing on letting the world as you know it. Uh, know that you're a travel agent and then you get bombarded with all these requests. Girl, tell me how much it's going to cost me to get from here, from point A to point B. I want to go to Missouri to Vegas. I want to go to Missouri to Cancun. Girl, I'm sick of being in the house. I want to go to, you know, I know Jamaica's hot right now. They're still letting us in. I want to go to Jamaica. How much does it cost, right? And then you go and you scurry around, you go and do quotes and then it's silence. Has that happened to anybody? right? You, you, you get quotes. Like, so you've launched your business. You've told your friends and family, you went on social media and you let everybody know that you're a travel agent and you've opened this travel business. And you know, you, you know, what are some of the sayings that I see on uh, people's news feed is right. You know, I have decided to take my travel business and start making money at it. Right. I get paid to travel now. Right. So that's you, you let the world know that you travel and people are asking for quotes right? And you have got quotes out the ass, like literally out the ass, right? And you're like quoting, quoting and quoting. And what happens? 
They're not doing anything with your quotes. They're not booking with you, right? So you spend all this time quoting, but they're not booking. Who wants quotes without books? Who booking, right? Is that what you want to do? Like you want to quote without booking? Or do you want to quote and get the get the sale? What are you looking for in your business? To become a quoting engine or to be a sales engine, to have a sales engine in your business, right? I want a sales engine, all right? I don't want a bunch of people asking me for free coaching, right? I want people signing up for my program and I want people signing up and winning in my program. That's what I want. What do you want? Right. So what you've got is you've got an ability to attract, but you're attracting the wrong people. You're attracting people who really want you to be the human Expedia.com. That's what I call you. Right. You guys who are quoting to your friends and family, right? Because you feel like you need to get the experience and you really hope and pray that they're going to buy from you and you start quoting like a human Expedia.com. I'm not a human Expedia.com, right? I remember when I first opened up my travel business so many years ago, right? My girlfriend, she rung me up and she, she slid in my inbox and she was like, Hey, can you tell me how much it's going to cost for, you know, I don't remember where she wanted to go. I was like, girl, I don't do that. I was like, here's my, here's my form. And she, she looked at me and I, I mean, I, I can't imagine because she was, this is all through text, right? But she texted me and she was like, I got to do all that. I was like, yeah, because I don't do quotes. <laughs> And she was miffed, <laughs> to say the least. Like, I don't get to use that word in a sentence often, but she was miffed. She was she was like, I got to go through all that. I'm like, yeah, you do. Because if you really want to get a quote, then go let your fingers do the walking. Don't call me. I'm not a quoting engine. I design packages. I design experiences. And that's what I told her. And needless to say, I didn't have to go and do that work, right? Because really what she wanted, what she was saying was, right? When she texted me that quick, it's not, I'm not really interested in your services. I want to know if you can beat the deal that I already think I can. I, my girlfriend, my girl, she could get me to hook up. I'm not in the business for hookups. That's not my ideal client, right? That's not what I want, right? What do you want, right? Do you even know what you want? So attraction is about the following four items, right? The first thing is attracting who, right? Do you know who you are trying to attract? When you go to your social media personal page and you haven't been strategic about who is in your space, right? And it's not full of your ideal client, right? Because you're not advertising. People don't know that you exist. So it's your friends from high school, maybe college, right? Your work friends, right? It's some people that you know, right? I mean, I don't know who's in your personal timeline, but before five years ago in my personal timeline were a bunch of people that I was sort of silent stalking, right? That I was like, oh my God, this person I knew in high school is there. So that's who I had on my personal page. Now who's on my personal page is a bunch of travel agents, right? Because that's strategic. Strategically, the people that are on my personal page are travel agents because that's who my market is. Who's on your personal page? Is your market on your personal page? And if the answer to that is no, then what the hell are you doing posting on there for? Right. If you're not spending your time focused on getting the people that you want in your sphere, right, on your page, in your group, in your life, right, who are you marketing to? Do you know who your who is? Do you know who it is that you want to attract to your business? Now, many of the 200 plus people I've talked to in the last four or five days, right, are telling me, well, I want people who want to want luxury travel. That doesn't tell me who. Everybody wants luxury travel, right? Hell yeah, I want a butler when I go out of town. That still doesn't tell me who, right? I don't know how, I, you don't know how to get Sunday in your news feed. Do you know how to get me in your news feed if you're attracting, right? You know how you get me in your news feed? You say to me in your Facebook ad, are you a busy professional who doesn't have time to book, right? Let me give you five ways that you can make your life easier. Get your entire family out of town in less than five minutes. That's going to get my attention. That's going to get Sunday's attention, right? If you want my business, you got to speak my language, but you need to know what my language is. And the only way to do that is to know who your audience is, right? So do you know who your who is that you're trying to attract? I know who my audience is and I know who I'm trying to attract. The clients in my program right now have focused on their who. They know exactly the type of person that they want in their group.
They know what they're, they know what's important to them. They know what isn't important to them. They know what's keeping them up at night. They know everything that there is possibly to know about them. That's what a good marketer does. They speak the language of their ideal client. Okay, so who is the number one? When you're talking about attraction, you need to know the who. And then the second thing that you need to know is the what, right? What is your specialty? How is it that you are attracting them? Right? I just told you how to speak to Sunday. If you want to get my business and you're a travel agent and you want to stop my scroll, you got to be talking about how it's hard as hell to get my family. I got five people in my family and to get us out of town. And I'm a travel professional, right? But if I was looking for travel services, right, I would be looking for someone to solve that problem. I need to get us out of town regularly, right? So that we can reconnect as a family. We can do things as a family because Everybody's scattered, right? My husband's working. My kids are doing what they do. I'm doing what I'm doing. And I can't get us out of town quick enough. I can't remember to get us on vacation, right? Right? So if you want my business, you got to speak what my problem is, right? But you also got to specialize in the thing that I'm looking for, right? So what is your specialty? That's number two. What do you specialize in this area? If you are talking about attraction, what is your specialty? Don't tell me, don't tell me group travel. Don't tell me all inclusive travel, right? That's not, that's not a specialty. That's a type of travel, right? All inclusive travel is not a specialty. Group travel is not a specialty, right? There's all sorts of group travel. There's all sorts of all inclusive hotels and resorts, right? That doesn't tell me a specialty, but you know what does tell me a specialty? One of my clients is specializing in faith based travel. That's a specialty, right? She's specializing in taking pilgrimages, taking her groups on pilgrimages. So she's interested in people who want to do that, right? That's very specific. I got another person in our uh, program who's specializing in wine, art, and travel, right? The name of her group is cute. I'm not even going to reveal it, but she's specializing in that. And she specializes in South African travel, right? So that's a specialty. Do you guys get the difference, right? Group travel is very ge general, right? How are you going to stop somebody in the feed when you just say, I specialize in group travel? Well, what the heck does that mean, right? What does it mean to specialize in group travel? That doesn't mean anything to your audience, right? So you want to specialize in something that's going to have meaning to the person that you want to attract. Wellness. I got another person who's specializing in self-care for essential workers. That's specific, right? Essential workers are getting their ass kicked right now. And you have to forgive me. I'm cussing a lot today, but you know, I'm riled up, right? Because I've talked to so many people, right? And the reality is essential workers right now are getting their butts kicked because of COVID, right? They have zero time to take care of themselves. The group that she's creating is going to be dedicated to them, right? When somebody sees that, when they see the word essential workers, because the media has taught us what essential workers mean. She doesn't even have to define that now, right? There's a whole, there's a whole, you know, movement around essential workers. We all know what that means, right? When, so when she creates a group around that topic, it's clear to them when, she, when they see, when they see that ad, they're going to be like, she's talking to me. Yeah. I don't have time for self-care. What, what the hell is self-care? I'm essential. I'm too busy saving lives. I don't have time for me, right? And the sad part is, is those essential workers are the ones that are dying, right? Those are the ones that we need to be the healthiest right now during this time, right? So her ad and her attraction system is going to attract those people because it's going to be clear that she's talking to them and that she's got something that they need. Does that make sense, right? Is that connecting with you guys in terms of what I'm saying here, right? Attraction is about knowing who it is that you work with and knowing exactly what they need and what specialty that it is that you're going to be focused around their needs, right? So that's number two, right? So you got to know who it is that you want to attract. You got to know the second thing, which is what is their problem? What is their, what is the thing that you're going to focus on in the travel industry that's going to speak to them, right? So like now, now, you know, you now, you, now you know who, now you know what, how are you going to get in front of them? Right. In a COVID pandemic world, right? This is, this is my perfect 
venue, right? Online, right? Because I don't have to leave my house. It's like freaking freezing outside today and I don't have to leave my house, but I'm in front of at least 20 people right now. Not to mention the 4,000 that are on my email list, right? Some 20% of that is going to open my email tomorrow and see my video, right? So I'm able to get in front of them, right? Not only the people who are joining me live, not to mention the people who'll see it in the replay, not to mention how we'll cut it up and show it on YouTube episode later. You know, I mean, so people are going to see me and I'm a I'm able to get in front of strangers on a regular basis. I got ads that get are getting me in front of strangers on a regular basis. That's my how. What's your how? How are you going to get in front of your ideal client? Now, I said using social media to do that. And the only way that you're doing that is on your personal page, maybe on your business page and you're boosting, but you have no idea how to find your people because you don't have the criteria set up right. Is it going to get you there? Right? So you really need to understand the how. Now there's two ways to do it. You can do it free, right? Which, which is organic. That's the fancy way of saying free is organic, or you can pay for traffic, right? You can pay to get in front of your ideal client. I prefer to pay, right? Because it's easier, <laughs> right? I just take my checkbook out. I hand pretty much over to Facebook and I say, Facebook, go find me my ideal client. I define my criteria and boom, here you are, right? All of you on this channel right now are my potential ideal client. Now, you're in different stages of your business. You may or may not be ready to make a move to come into the program, whatever. But you are my client, right? You at least meet the, the, the criteria that I've set to have you come in. Same thing with your. All of my students' clients in their groups are their ideal clients. Does that make sense? What I'm saying is that they have hand selected the people that they relate to inside of their own personal groups because they decided to identify who it is, what their offer is, and they decided to pay for traffic. Now, again, there's many ways you can do it organically, but they pay for traffic and they selectively pick out people that they get their offer in front of, right? Wouldn't it be great to be able to do that on autopilot? So I don't go to networking events now. I say that now, right? COVID, I don't go, even before COVID, I was not a big networking. I was when I was younger, but I'm getting kind of old and I'm getting kind of, I'm getting kind of <laughs> grouchy and I'm getting kind of like, ah, yeah, networking event or stay at home and watch Netflix, right? Right. So my preference is to stay at home and watch Netflix, right? Because I do all of this work to ensure that I get in front of thousands of people per day through Facebook ads, right? Because it's easier to do that. I don't have to get dressed up. I don't have to go out in the cold or the heat or whatever. I don't have to get business cards. I don't have to do all that, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, don't be like, well, networking events do me really great and I love it, right? That's just not my thing anymore. Like, I don't really enjoy it like I used to, right? I got a bunch of other things that I'd rather be doing than going and meeting and handing out business cards, right? I want to selectively get in front of the people that I know are my ideal client. I prefer I prefer to do my own arc system, right? I prefer to attract them. I prefer to relate to them and I prefer to convert them, right? All online in the comfort of this space right here, right? Is that what you want to do? Right? What do you want to do? Right? Do you want to keep going on in the, in the path that you're doing and not getting the results or do you want to see something different, right? So those are the three things to attract, right? And if you do those things well, you will start to attract the people that you want, right? If you can identify who it is that you want, you can identify what it is that they need and you create that offer for them and then you get in front of them, you know where they are and you're in front of them making your order. It's a numbers game after that, right? I want somebody to write numbers, marketing, sales, all of its numbers. There's no magic. There's no magic. It's not that you don't know. I mean, it's not that it doesn't work. It does, it's the fact that you don't know how to work the system. So it's not that the system is broken. It doesn't mean that social media sucks. It doesn't mean that Facebook is, you know, is the devil. I mean, it may be, but I don't know. It works. <laughs> Marketing wise, it works. Right. You know, people will tell me, I remember this was some years ago and I've been saying this for some time now because I've been in the Facebook advertising space since about 2000. And I, I always have to remember, was it 2010? I think it was the first time I ran my first Facebook ad. So it's been 11 years now. This year makes 11 years because I started actually at the beginning of, it was like in the spring of 2010 when I ran my first ad. And, you know, Facebook, 
people will tell me all the time, Facebook is horrible. Like, you know, they, they encringe upon your privacy and, you know, they're listening to you and they're, they're invading your privacy. And I'm like, you know what? Keep invading all you want as long as you keep giving access to small business owners like me to the data. So as long as that data is not only available to big businesses who've got millions and millions of dollars, like I can take my $5 per ad set, per, you know, per day, run my ads, get me some leads, make me some bank, right? Because I know what I'm doing. I'm okay with that, right? You keep listening, Zuckerberg. You, you do you, baby. You do you so that I can do me and get in front of more people that I want to. Two billion people are on the flat platform every single month. Your ideal client is on Facebook, right? And frankly, if you like Instagram, they're on Instagram too because Facebook owns Instagram, right? So advertising through uh, Instagram is done through Facebook. So if you like either one of those platforms, I think there's like one billion on that platform, two billion a month on this platform, your ideal client is in one of those two spaces, right? So if you know how to use this tool properly, then you can get clients. You can get your ideal clients, but you got to understand how to use the tools. So I remember, and I'm going to go just a little offbeat, right? But I remember uh, back when I uh, got my first house, this was many, many years ago. I, uh, I was like, I used to, when I was much younger, so 20 years ago, I used to think that I could um, tile like do it all. I was like the handy, the handy woman. I was, what was that, that show home improvement? I was, I was Tim Allen, right? I had my own tool belt. My husband couldn't like mess with me. Like he hated, you know, and we had this house and I was like, you know, I went to a class and I was like, I can do that. I can do it. I can do it. And, uh, we started tiling the kitchen floor. I'll never forget that. Nobody tells you all the different tools that you need to make that job easier, right? It just looks really cool. It's like you put some mortar, you know, you put whatever that, I don't even know the name of it, right? You put some mortar on the back of a tile, you spread it around, slap, boom, you're there. Nobody tells you you really need a wet saw, right? I got the, the non-wet saw because I was afraid that I'd electrocute myself, right? So the job was so much harder because I didn't have the right tools, right? That to me is like the perfect example of what we do in business where we start to do something, we don't have the right tools, we don't know how to use the tools, and then we think tiling sucks, you know, <laughs> social media sucks. Well, it's because we don't use it right, right? We don't use, we don't use it right, nor do we, we don't have the knowledge that it takes to use it right, and we don't invest in the tools so that we can make it easier for ourselves to utilize it correctly. Does that make sense? Like, it's a combination of the knowledge right? And also the tools that you need, right? Because, you know, I, I tell people will tell me, yes, I do Facebook ads. And I'm like, okay, right? Do you boost or have you been inside a Facebook ads manager? They're like, I don't know what Facebook ads manager is. Boosting is not going to get you conversions, right? It's not going to get you leads. It's going to get you likes because that's what that particular part of the advertising is intended to do, right? Now, there are some people that are successfully able to boost a post and they do get conversions, right? I'm not going to tell you that it doesn't work, but it is not designed to do that. So uh, the majority of people who are boosting are not getting the results that they want because it's not the right type of ad. There's a lot of ad types in Facebook, right? So it's again about knowledge and understanding how to use the tools so that you can get what you want out of them, right? So that's number three is simply, how do you get in front of the traffic? You're either gonna pay for it or you're gonna do it organically, right? I teach how to pay for it. I also teach how to do it organically, but primarily I teach how to uh, pay for traffic using Facebook so that you get in front of your ideal client, but you gotta do the work first, right? You gotta know who and you gotta know what, right? All right. But really what I want to say is, as we start to wrap up, is attraction is really about a process of getting in front of your ideal client, right? That's what attraction is. And if you can do that well, you are not doomed for failure. If you can do, if you know who your ideal client and you have a systematic way to get in front of them, either through networking or through paid traffic or whatever your system is, you have a way to consistently get in front of those people, extend your offers, right? Both paid offers and non-paid offers, you are going to be successful. Your client attraction system is the heartbeat of your business, right? And without that heartbeat, 
you're not going to beat, right? So you need to have a way to be able to attract who you want to get in front of them, right? Don't die because of obscurity, right? Don't let your business die because no one knows who you are or the right people don't know who you are. That's the critical thing that you need to do in your travel business today is even during this pandemic, right? Many of you have told me over the last four or five days that, you know, the pandemic sort of it threw you off, you're focused on cancellations and you're, you know, you, you know, it threw you off your game and you, you just, you, you're, you know, you sort of taken aback. You don't know what to do, what to progress. And I'm going to tell you, focus on attraction, right? Get yourself a system that consistently will get you in front of the people that you want to get to. And if you don't know who that is, and that's what you need to focus on, identify who it is, get yourself a real specialty, a real niche, identify your audience and create a stranger offer, right? So if you don't know what a stranger offer is, you know, that's another training. But what I'm telling you is, is that you've got to focus on that in this time, because when the gates open and, you know, when the numbers really start going down aggressively and people are ready to pull the trigger, you don't want to be scrambling, you know, doing the same thing you were doing pre-COVID, right? S still spew into your personal page or boosting on your business page to the wrong people, right? You want to, you want to already have your community built who's ready to start buying, right? Because the reality is people are buying now, right? They're buying now. So maybe they're not going to Europe, but people are traveling, right? They're traveling now. And so again, I'm not going to, I'm not ignorant to the fact that people are not traveling at the volume that they were before. But the reality is if you're not focused on building your tribe now, growing a tribe that is around your specialty, you're doing your business a disservice and you are going to be behind the eight ball when things do open up and they will open up. That's a, that's a fact. All right. So this is what I have to say. I'm going to wrap up, right? I already mentioned to you what attraction, what attraction looks like, right? It's really the process that requires you to be strategic about your systems and your knowledge um, from, from, from who you want to work with. That's really what it is. It's strategically attracting the right person with the right offer at the right time. I mean, that's really what it all is all about, right? And so, the problem that you all face, right, and I faced it too when I first started, is simple, is, is that we we jump from stranger to selling, right? I, I started this business, you start this business, and you go straight from, I am new in this business, I have not made a name for myself, nobody knows who I am, and I attract a stranger, and I start talking to a stranger, and I'm trying to sell them a three five five thousand dollar package. Or worse worse yet, you're trying to sell them a four hundred dollar package and you get nothing on commission, right? The point is is that you jump the relationship uh rope, right? You jump the relationship ladder and you don't add value. You don't have a relationship with these people and then you want to see why you want to understand why selling doesn't work, right? So when you jump from stranger to selling, right? it turns people off and that's what you have to stop doing, right? An attraction system avoids that. It allows you to go in sequence like you need to in terms of relationship building, right? The number two thing that not having attraction system does is that you utilize social media incorrectly, right? Social media is about relationship building and it's about connection, right? And if you aren't creating that connection and that relationship and that value proposition, right? You're not giving anybody a reason to buy, right? You're turning them off, right? So people slide into people's inbox uninvited with no context trying to sell something that's a turnoff right you're you know throwing up on your business page or your personal page your packages but you don't tell people why you're the bomb.com why they should be using your services right that you're not using social media for what is intended for and then the very last thing i wanted to say is that you're trying to sell to everybody stop it stop trying to sell to everybody i don't want everybody as a client and neither should you you may think that you're missing out on something but but lack of specialty means that you're making it so much harder for yourself, right? If I'm trying to market to the world, you know how expensive that is for me to get my face in front of every single body that I want to, right? And not everybody's interested in what I have to offer, right? Because I'm not connecting with everybody. So the fact that I specialize immediately increases my ability to sell when I specialize. Same thing for you, right? So specializing in something is not going to decrease your sales. 
sales. It will increase your sales if you do it properly, right? So I say all of that to say that's what attraction is. Now, if you're interested in really applying what I taught you tonight, right? Because what you've got tonight is now you've got the steps. You know what attraction is. You know what you've got to do. But if you want to know the step-by-step on like, you know, how to really get a niche that's really specific enough that really is going to be meaningful and then how to utilize that niche to talk to your ideal client, what it means to identify your ideal client, what it means to do the market research so that you know who it is that you're after, right? What all of that means, how to get in front of your ideal client through Facebook ads, then you may be a candidate for Travel Passions to Profit, which is the program where I teach your client attraction system, right? And we're going to talk about if the attraction system, given where you are, is the right fit, because it's not the right fit for everybody. I'm not delusional. You're not delusional. This may not be the right time. This may not be the right space. You may not get the chicks in your head straight yet so that they can allow you to uh, move to the next level, right? So that's the purpose of the conversation. Right attract. I'll give you, we'll schedule some time. We'll talk about your business and see if it's the right fit. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. I did it in record time. I love that. But this is what I desire for you. And what I desire for you is, you know, utilize this time really to get your foundation straight, right? Utilize this time in your business for you to build up your business processes. Because gosh, you know, trying to do it when you got clients knocking on your door and you're trying to book and you're trying to do this and you're trying to get systems in place, that's hard stuff, right? This is the time now when there's a little bit of silence, you can have time to think about what you want to do, who you want to work with, how you want to make money, what you want to do, right? This is the time to get yourself organized. This is the time to put those systems in place, right? This is the time to invest in you and your business to establish the foundation. So when the gates open, you're ready to go right? This is the time to be building your email list. This is the time to be building your communities. This is the time to be relating to your customers, right? Starting six months from now, that's too late, right? Now's the time. Listen, ladies and gents, it was great to talk to you. This is Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss. Uh, We talk all things launching, marketing, and operating a successful travel business. I'll be here next week. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If you like this episode, then share it. Sharing is caring and don't keep it to yourself. Spread the word. Another way to support this channel is to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or leave us a message. Join us inside of our free Facebook group, The Travel Boss Group. Better yet, if you think you need help, schedule your free travel business launch diagnostic call. Links are mentioned below. This has been Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss. See you again on the next episode of Online Travel Boss TV.